Hey, what in the world is happening with Vashon Real Estate? What? Let's check it out. All right, this is the last five years of supply and demand. Um, I'm putting this up just so you get some perspective on w the, tr the longer term trends, okay? Um, if we sent this out, let me send it out actually a little bit further, go out 10 years, you get to see it even a little bit more clearly that, you know, there was a time, the green are the new listings and the blue are the sold, depending, the one that went pending that month, that's supply and demand in my world. You can see that we used to hit peaks of 35 or 40 houses, right? And then the pandemic happened and we barely get to 25. And that seems to be, you know, three years is a pretty decent size. Last year wasn't COVID, um, but last year was the spike in interest rates, which made it really difficult for people to sell. Like who's moving from a 3% interest to an 8% interest? No one, unless they have to. So, I think you're going to see that continue this year as that begins to unwind. That is interest rates stabilize, drop a little bit. Election year might drop further than normal. People may get encouraged to sell like that. And then buyers not only are limited in what they can afford, but the whole idea of getting a second home and that was driving the market here on Vashon in particular during COVID, the cheap interest rates and the idea that you could work from home, do whatever you wanted, all went away. And you can see that here at the end of last year, it just went away. And you got to take Vashon statistics with a grain of salt because data insufficiency is a real deal. So, you know, this spike, you sell a couple more homes, and it shows up as a drastic spike. Um, if you look at just the last two years, you get a clearer month to month picture. And just comparing January's to January, same number of listings as 2023. Last month was the same number of listings and more than 2022. So could we see the a repeat of 2023 in terms of the number of listings? We could. I mean, you know, it's went that way so far. Um, still too early in February to have any read on what February is going to bring. And the number of buyers was similar this year as to last year. So right now, I don't see any evidence of there being any radical shift. Um, the particular, um, you know, there's a particular graph that's also of interest on Vashon just in terms of pricing. Let's just look at that real quick. So you can just get a sense of what prices are doing on Vashon based on that same kind of supply and demand. You know, if that supply and demand continues, you could think that the, the price would be similar. So all price ranges on Vashon really flat, right? With a little bit of a drop towards the end of the year. But basically, 2022, 2023 were very, that's a really flat graph in terms of median price. So, you know, if you go out further, you can see that it's been pretty steady increase for all of Asha. Now, waterfront is different than non-waterfront, higher. Every way you filter that shows a difference in the pricing structure. You know, for example, I was working this out for a client yesterday, if you just looked at only waterfront from the peak in 2022, massive drop. But again, you got to deal with data sufficiency because there's just not overall, if you're looking on Vashon, it's a pretty flat graph. Certain segments have different prospects, okay, different experience. And that's why it's super important that when you work with someone, you're to price your home, you're not just looking at Zillow. You're not just looking overall at too big of a bucket because each bucket has a different profile. So when you're shopping on Vashon, the same thing applies. You want to work with someone who's familiar with the bucket you're looking at, waterfront, not waterfront. If we exclude waterfront here, you see a much different graph. So overall values on Vashon have gone up, stayed up. If you look at only waterfront on Vashon, you, they went up and went down again. So again, just different buckets and the same kind of variable would happen if you checked out different prices. Every bucket is different here on the island. So 
you know, if you're interested in buying or selling on the island, we should talk because your situation is unique. And every house on Bastion, the north end compared to the south end is different. Everything is a little bit variable. So if you're shopping on Bastion or looking at a list on Bastion, make sure you get the information for your particular house that shows how your house is likely to perform or the houses you're looking at have recently performed so that you don't overspend or get outbid for something. So if you're interested, that's what I do. I talk to people all the time, make sure they make the wisest choice for them. My name is Aaron Hinden with Christine Company EXP Realty, and I will talk to you soon.